do something kind of interesting. Uh, last year was the first time I actually did it, but we're gonna go night diving for lobster instead of bully netting. So stay tuned, we have some cool stuff for you. And I also wanna mention one of the best parts of being in the Keys, the sunsets. A lot of boat traffic tonight, but we just got suited up and we're going to be doing a little bit of drifting here and picking up a couple lobster. quick literally as quickly as possible because they're pitching lobsters left and right I'm gonna tell you what we're doing versus the bully netters we're actually diving in and we're um, shining the light in the lobsters face so it, like it's kind of like a deer in headlights effect where they're like oh my god what's happening and then you reach down slowly and then right as you get close to them you grab them where they can't see your hand you have to be careful not to touch any parts of them because they get very skittish and then they'll swim off <laughs> throwing a lobster in the boat. I turned around and I looked down and I see this absolute brute of a stone crab coming around. It's a shame these guys are out of season so he's going back.
Hey Justin, how's it going? Oh, it's great, man. The drift ain't so bad so far. We got to stay out a little deeper because we can't get up on the flat because we don't have a trolling motor. But we're making do with what we got. It's a pretty good drift so far. Um, well, we've, uh, we've made two or three passes. The water's a little silty. Tide's not going exactly the right way, but uh, we probably got 20 in the boat and uh, getting close to our limit. Uh, a couple more and we should be able to go home. actual hardest part about all of this is the ones that are in the boat. It's harder for them because we have to make sure that we stay out of the channel, make sure that nobody gets run over by a bully net or the lobster actually stay in the boat and don't get yeeted places where they're not supposed to be. And yeah, it's just trying to do all that uh, simultaneously is a little bit stressful. All right guys, as you can see, that's a really effective form of getting a limit of lobster super quick. It might be a little eerie at first jumping in the water at night, but once you get going, you know, it's very easy to just go with the flow. And you know, the current just pushes you along, you could just grab lobster up off the bottom instead of sitting in the boat getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So, uh, hope you guys liked the video. Consider subscribing. Take it easy.